Hey Atomic Family, Pastor Sarah here with Wednesday's Word, one of my favorite times of the week. I am very blessed to be a part of what is working through Atomic Church, the things that we've been able to do um, through God's will that we've accomplished for Him, and this is just one of those things. Father God, thank you for the timing of your plan, for the timing of what you have for our lives. Thank you for bringing us into a um, blessed future, bringing us into the plan that's perfect just for each one of us. Thank you, Lord, for always having that compassion on our lives. In Christ's name, I pray these things. Amen. So uh, we have like some things going on with our pastors right now. They're currently, hi, Mama Louise. They are currently in Tulsa, Oklahoma, visiting our parent church, Victory, and right at this very moment, Pastor Robert Madu is preaching, and I'm telling you, when you get the opportunity, he is an excellent preacher to listen to. Um, they're enjoying that right now. I was actually enjoying it just before, um, just before I started. And I also just realized just now that I forgot to do blocking on my phone. So hopefully nobody interrupts with texts or phone calls because when that happens, it causes the um, Facebook to skip. Hi, Karina. You're at Tulsa right now watching Robert Madu. Why are you watching me? But I love you. Um, anyways. So hopefully nobody tries to text, message, or send an email or anything like that because I don't want it to be interrupted and I totally forgot to block it. So I apologize if there's a little bit of an interruption. This week I was um, kind of struggling with trying to figure out what it was that uh, God wanted me to share with you. And it wasn't that he doesn't provide. Hi, Elena. It was that I had lots of things in my brain. I had lots of things I was thinking about, things that I felt could be shared. And so I just had to quiet myself and listen and try and figure out what is it that is the perfect timing for now. I found a verse in Lamenta Lamentations. There's actually a couple of them, and that was part of what I was struggling with with narrowing down. There's this chunk of it that was really good, but instead of giving you the chunk, I decided to give you one of the verses. I might come back to the other ones at a later date, maybe even next week, I don't know, but whatever the Lord wants me to do. This one is Lamentations 3.22. The NLT says, because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. Then I looked at some other translations because I love doing that. I love, um, seeing what other translations say, and it's not that they're any different, it's that they use a synonym, and sometimes those synonyms jump out more so than the one you just read. And the message translation says, God's loyal love couldn't have run out. His merciful love couldn't have dried up. They're created new every morning. He never runs out of his love for us. He never runs out of wanting to lavish that love on us. And so that was the S for my soil. My O was Jeremiah is letting us know that God is merciful and wants to forgive us and wants to shower us with love. He wants us to know there is nothing that God wants more than to be constant relationship with us, to be in that status with us. Nothing is more important than, to him than having that relationship with us. That's the observation. Um, Jeremiah was the author of Lamentations. The I, insightful interpretation, God has never been the problem. We have been the problem. We need to seek deep within to see if there's any sin that is hindering us from receiving from God from getting close enough to God to receive what he has for us. If there is anything we need to ask for, for forgiveness for, we can't walk away from it. We need to address it. We need to handle it right then and there. Um, 
you know, I hear people all the time um, will say something like, well, I mean, it's not that big of a deal or um, it's just this tiny thing or, you know, I've seen my other friends do this. But if you know that it's wrong, if you know that you are being convicted, then I'm telling you that one little teeny tiny thing could be the very difference between you living a prosperous, blessed life and then you living the life you're living now. That one little teeny tiny thing could be what's hindering or blocking you from being able to receive all that God has for you. So it might seem insignificant. It might even seem to the general public like not a big deal. It might seem like, you know, it's a perfectly okay thing. There are perfectly okay things that even God tells you not to do. There's nothing wrong with eating a piece of cake. But God may be convicting you not to eat the piece of cake. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but for you... This is something that God is asking you to do. So whatever it is that you are convicted of, you need to address it so that you are not hindering any part of having that close contact, that close relationship with the Lord. Are you having struggles as a wife or a husband? Are your skills as parenting appearing to be depleting? I'm having some of those moments every now and then. Are you moving faster than God's timing, making things look different than what you had anticipated? Do you think any of these issues are too big for God? They're not. Uh, earlier, like I said earlier, I was watching... Um, actually, let me back up. I was on a conference call with some other ladies for a um, group of women uh, Bible study. It's mm, more Bible teaching. And the leader was Sue Foster. She's a friend of mine and Pastor Donna's. I met her through Pastor Donna. And she was talking about the things that God can do for us. And we were all sharing situations about how our faith can move mountains and all we need to do is speak it out. And God's desire is to make those things happen. We just have to be bold enough to do it. And so we were sharing different situations and and how, you know, somebody's washing machine worked after it had an attitude that it didn't want to work. And I just saw Sue join. So I'm telling your story, Sue. Um, hello, and I love you. Anyways, um, we were talking about different situations when things that... Um, seemed impossible just by speaking it out in faith worked because that's how God works that's what he does in our life and so I was sharing some of the stuff that happened and I also told them about the plenty and 20 and how us four pastors have lived that this entire year no matter what negative things are going on we believe plenty and 20 we believe that our words that come out of our mouth are faith mountain moving words and so whenever there's some little thing in my life that I feel the Lord is convicting me for I want to be very quick to address it right away ask for forgiveness or get it out of my life or whatever it is that he's convicting me to do with it I want to be very quick to do that because I don't want any form of wall or fencing or uh, separation between me and God. I don't want anything to hinder me from being able to receive all the blessings he has for me. I don't want anything hindering me from being able to be the version of myself that God had intended me to be. I want to be the very best version in an effort to honor, honor and glorify him. So we were talking about that tonight and then the coolest thing happened. I was actually uh, I started watching the Victory Conference, so um, when we're done, which will be very short because um, I intentionally planned this to be shorter knowing that Victory Conference was going on. But when we're done talking, if you get a chance, I want you to go to victory.com and watch live. I'm telling you, this conference is all week long. There's a morning session and an afternoon or evening session, and it's fantastic. Um, 
but uh, Pastor Paul, who's the head pastor, co-head pastor of Victory Church, had had it on his heart to provide cars for single moms. And he had been praying about this and it just got placed on his heart on Sunday. And so yesterday at the start of Victory Conference, the opening session, he said that he spoke with his wife and the team and he felt really called to offer at least one single mom a new car. And so he asked everybody in the audience, if you are a single mom who is in need of a car, please raise your hand or stand up. And there was nine of them. Well, they had talked to, I believe it was a car dealership, and they were just requesting one free car. The guy's like, well, I can give you six. And he said, if there's anybody that's willing to match, I'll do one per month. We'll do a dozen cars. So I'm just listening to this and I'm thinking to myself as a single mom, all the trouble I had. And I am so excited that somebody is experiencing what the Holy Spirit can do because of faith. There is a lady in Tulsa, Oklahoma, who has 10 kids. She's a single mom. She's gone to Victory for 20, over 26 years, and she just now got a brand new free car tonight. And in that moment, this is the like tear-jerking moment for me, a gentleman in the audience decided to give up his car for another one right then and there on the spot. That is mountain moving faith. You hear from the Lord, he tells you what you need to do and you move knowing that it is going to be received in a way that cannot be explained except through God. So, yeah, I mean, I, I just get blown away on a daily basis by what the Lord can do. And not just by what the Lord can do, but by what the Lord can do through us. I think people miss that. I think people um, forget that he works for us, in us, and through us. And so, you know, I've said this before. The Bible says that, you know, when Christ was, when he leaves... Greater things we will do than he has done. Christ was a man who brought people back from the dead, who healed lepers, who made the blind see, who caused demons to escape, exit, whatever you want to call it, out of a person's body. He did these things, but said, greater will you do than me. Greater. So, yes, God does amazing things, but you have the ability to do greater. Because the Holy Spirit is in you, and he works through you. My L for my soil um, that I wrote out was Abba. Your way is perfect. And we tend to get ahead of it. I know that when I get ahead of your plan, I end up having to do a lot of cleanups and corrections. I know that your plans are perfect because your will for my life is perfect. Father, help me remember whether, help me remember whether in parenting as a wife or in ministry that I need to slow down to your pace. Greater is in store and will occur when I remember to allow the Holy Spirit to work through me. I just want you all to remember that you have the ability to do anything as long as it's through the Lord. All things are possible through Him. If you feel a call on your heart to preach, then preach. If you feel a call on your heart to sing then sing if you feel a call on your heart to open a child daycare open a child daycare if you feel a call on your heart to go and lay hands on people and heal them then go lay hands on people and heal them faith moves in the now as sue said it doesn't work later on 
It works now. It's present content, present context. If you have the desire to do something, move it out in faith right now. Um, again, reminder, this Friday is Worship with the Word at Atomic, live and in person. Or you can watch on Facebook Live. Sunday, 10 a.m., I will be preaching a message. And I am very excited about this because um, there's going to be some funny stuff happening. Let me just say that. I will get a little bit out of my comfort zone to be a little silly on camera, which is, I really am not that person. I kind of embarrass easily. <laughs> but I'm going to get a little on the silly side with this message because of things that happened. And I hope you enjoy it. So 10 o'clock, come to the church, Atomic Church. Come see firsthand. Or you can watch on Facebook Live. And then 6.30, we have the pastoral panel with me and Pastor David as our head pastors are in Tulsa. They will be returning to us Monday night. If you have the ability to, I would encourage you to get on victory.com and watch the Victory Conference right now with Pastor Robert Madu. Um, they are also going to be having... One of my all-time favorites, I kid you not, Dr. Darius Daniels, I believe is tomorrow night. It might be Friday. And then also John Bevere. Um, I don't know. There's, there's some great people on. So they have a session at 10 a.m. Tulsa time uh, in the morning and at 7 p.m. Tulsa time. So right now... They're in the middle of Robert Madu. Have a very blessed night. I love you. I'm going to go join Victory and watch Mr. Pastor Robert Madu. Have a great night, all. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about having faith in the now. Good night, all.